How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is a day of another day of another day that we call Wednesday. It would have been said, what's going on, people? Hopefully, body's doing everything as far as being prosperity in their life of living. Now, I want to talk to you about something that I don't know if you know about this, but I'm going to give you just something that I found out years ago, but I never really talked about this and stuff. Now, as you know, a lot of gay guys and a lot of trans women, and only even women, but um, I'm going to stick to the gay guys and the trans women, but basically this is kind of like to my gay brothers and stuff. This video is kind of like for you in a certain kind of way more directed towards you than the girls like us and stuff. Now this is the thing. You know, I'm going to go off into the employee. You know, I got to um, take care of my whole family and it's can make it a TS issue and stuff. Now this is the thing. I love straight, I love men. I'm not big on the straight men thing and stuff like that because a lot of times when guys who are allegedly straight, they see things a lot more different than when they come down to dealing in the LGBT. Now, there is, no, there is not nothing short of a lot of guys learning that there is a shortage of men, clearly, and straight men are very much in demand. So this is the thing. A lot of straight guys have signed on to date gay guys and stuff, even some trans women, but it's really more about the gay guys and stuff. Now, I know some say, well, they do it to women too, they, you know, if it, listen, if it applies to you, it applies to you, use it the weapon way you can. But this is kind of like, um, to the, to the, um, my gay brothers and stuff, this is the thing. He goes after you, now he may mess with you and stuff like that, and you're thinking, well, you know, he's, he's like me, you know, he don't give a fuck what nobody say, he, or he's on a DI. Now, this is the thing, a lot of, I think a lot of you guys may know, a lot of times they mess with you as far as being a target, as far as dehumanizing you. Now, you may say, well, Ray, what do you mean dehumanize me? Because he can't believe that he is a straight man and messing with a guy and he can make him do a lot of things as far as anything he wants. Now to you, you're thinking that, yeah, you got a boyfriend, you feel like, oh my God, I really love him. To him, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is a dude and I'm making this guy do shit that I, I wouldn't even do. But I can't believe that I got so much control over a guy and stuff. Now, this is the thing, the reason why I'm saying this is because I want you to be aware to lack of dehumanizing things as far as being, um, as far as being gay and stuff. Like I said before, and I'm sure some of you may have already gone through this stuff, but I'm going to let you stay awake of what's happening. Now, he's going to have you, um, he wants to see if you're going to give him head, he's going to like, yo, he gonna, he's going to ask you to do a lot of demeaning things and your gut kind of tell you like, well, why would he... You know, but you love him so much because he's so cute. He looks so straight and stuff like that. You're like, oh my God, well, you know, I don't mind. But reality is that he's looking at you like basically a joke. So he got you getting on the floor. He's standing up. He's, he's going to be he's gonna be standing up. You're going to be giving him head on your knees. He's going to do a lot of things that's demeaning to you. He's going to ask you to, um, you know, um, basically, you know, suck him off and, you know, try to get some money from you. And, um... You know, because the whole thing with him is that he can't believe that he actually has a guy that's doing things he's saying do. Now, his mind is thinking he's a man and he would never allow another man to treat him like that. But his whole fixation is, I got a dude that's doing shit that I want to do. And then some of you may understand what I'm saying, but the thing about it is that that's how he gets on. He loves that. He has no intentions on being with you. He just can't believe the fact he's living in a world where he, he can get a man to do shit that you know damn well most men wouldn't do. He degrades you. He makes you feel less than. He's going to try to get money out of you. Hell, he's going to try to see if you can get a threesome going on. But everything, everything he's going to do is going to, going to benefit himself and not you. He's going to hit you up for money, clearly. He's going to have you doing just like a lot of things, especially sexual. He's going to be coming in your face, stop shooting, come shots. <laughs> if you're into that kind of thing, you know it, go for it. But I'm just letting you know. Because this whole thing is that he cannot believe that he has this much control of another man. Now, you're thinking 
he's gay, but in his mind, he's far from gay. He's not even in his life. Even though he's doing everything from A to B and stuff like that, and he'll even piss on you. He'll even shit on you. He'll have you do shit about, like, yo, yo, dress up like a bitch and go outside. You know, anything, because he can't believe the fact that you actually listen to him. And you're thinking, I'm doing this because, you know, I, I got a boyfriend and he loves me and I don't mind doing these things because, you know, you kind of do things for your boy because of one person, one other person will. And this whole reality is that he just can't believe the fact that you're doing this shit. He's like, this bitch is so stupid. I'm going to get some money. You're paying for his boys. Hell, you can also pay for his girl. Usually you have another side piece, a few pieces of chicken on the side and back, but... You know, I just wanted to let you stay aware of this and stuff, because I know a lot of times, I don't know if anybody's talking about that one insurance with you and stuff, but I know I talked to a few guys, he's like, yo, I just can't believe the guys listen to what the fuck I'm saying. That shit is crazy. And in his, in your mind, you're thinking, he's going to be my boyfriend, like he's feeling me, In his mind is thinking, yo, I can never be your boyfriend, I'm not gay, I'm nothing like that, um, you're gay, I'm not gay, I don't want to be seen with you. They'll be bringing your gay friends around me. If you don't look straight, they'll bring them around me and stuff like that. Now, most of the time, if you do bring somebody around, he bump. Now, this is the other thing. If he bump into you on the street and he see you with one of your friends, he think your friend is cute, he's going to go after your friend. Now, if your friend is a real friend, they'll let you know. But a lot of times, you know, in the belly of the beast, men will go after your man. They don't really care. They ain't going to let you know if they're going to be fucking your man. You be thinking that your man is just fucking you. He's fucking you and your friend and stuff. So it's just my opinion as far as, you know, you stay woke too, especially when you bring your friends. I always feel as though when you have a man, you always have to be very careful because a lot of these men, we realize, I'm realizing is that you're thinking that the man only loves you, honey. He loves everybody. You think that dick is yours, but that's community dick, honey. That's everybody's dick. And if anybody wants it, he's going to he's gonna give it. And the thing about it is that usually these type of guys are the guys that you go, oh my God, you're cute. you gay. You know, you mess around. He's like, yeah, what's up, you know, he, he, he's not detected. He's not the kind of person you would spook. He's not the kind of person you would know what he is. You wouldn't know. So the simple fact of the matter is you're fascinated about the fact that he looks so straight and he's fucking with you. He got you all sprung out there and stuff. So stay woke. And if you're in a situation right about now, I'm telling you right now, you just better leave. Unless you're just getting it in. And, you know, you don't give a fuck about him. don't give a fuck about you. But you better stay strapped up, honey. Because diseases are real and AIDS don't discriminate and gonorrhea and any damn thing else don't discriminate against any gender and stuff like that. Anyway, the man said, I just want to share this with you on a Wednesday. Anyway, I love the feedback on this. I'm going to let you know I love you. Oh, and I want you to follow me on Instagram. That's Raven underscore over. So, follow me on Instagram and stuff like that so you can see a lot of content and stuff that I can't really, you know, put on YouTube and stuff because of copyright reasons and stuff. But I want you to just follow me so we can kind of go through this journey together so you can see more of what I do. Anyway, that being said, I hope you have a safe day. I want to let you know I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Kiss the rain. Are you going to Instagram now, Raven? Yeah. Yes. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Underscore over. I can share a lot more content with you. Love you.